हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यूर वेलकम इन द क्लास we were discussing weather disasters or weather hazards and in that we have discussed tropical cyclones heat waves tsunamis and today we will discuss the cold wave conditions as you know that due to the climate change there is extreme cases of rainfall extreme heat events or cold events we are observing and in the previous year you also observed that the cold waves were much, much pronounced than the previous years and it recorded uh, broke the record also now what is a cold wave if we define the cold wave the cold wave is unusually large and rapid drop in temperature over a shorter period of time like 24 hours it is a weather phenomena that is distinguished by the cooling of the air or you can define the cold wave as it is a rapid and considerable drop in temperature that usually affect a larger area and unabated cold wave grips uh, you have observed in north india biting cold wave persisted in north india and the national capital region delhi and it likely to record its second cold at december since 1901 as the temperature are predicted to drop further the weather department said uh, there was a news uh, in the newspaper that Uh, which mentioned on 27th December 2009 it has uh, announced that uh, during 2019 after 1901 it was the second coldest december as the temperatures were dropped very much mean maximum temperature for december was less than 20 degrees celsius only during 1919 1929 1961 1990, and 1997 and it is the information that is provided by the imd or indian meteorological department india experienced severe cold waves from december 2002 to january 2003 also some parts of jammu kashmir punjab haryana himachal pradesh bihar uttar pradesh and north eastern states experienced unprecedented cold waves crop yield loss varied between 10 to 100% due to cold wave condition in case of horticultural crops means fruits and vegetables and seasonal crops also the fruit size and quality were also adversely affected in horticultural crops due to the event of cold waves however temperate fruits like apple peach plum and cherry gave higher yield due to the extreme chilling the damage was the damage was more pronounced the damage was more pronounced in low lying areas where cold air settled and remained for a longer time on the ground now related to cold wave there is also condition of frost as you know frost is ground frost we generally mention it refers to the icy deposits on the ground formed when the soil moisture freezes that means there is the formation of ice crystals on the ground or ground based objects frost can affect crops in many ways or various ways it can form a layer on the stems leaves and fruits causing the plant cells to rupture or broken similarly ground frost limits the availability of soil oxygen and moisture to the plants when plants cannot access soil nutrients in this way due to the frost injury it is known as the physiological drought because the functions of the plants are disturbed due to the frost injury or the deposition of icy crystals on the cells now we can also say frost is the solid deposition of water vapors from saturated air in the form of small white crystals on the ground or other surfaces when the temperature of these solid surfaces falls below freezing point of water or below the dew point of the adjacent air frost crystal size differs depending upon time and water water vapors which are available frost is also usually translucent in appearance two kinds of frost are frequently problems in winter season in north indian uh, states the first is the advection frost and second is the radiation frost advection frost is resulted when the temperature at the surface in an air mass is below the freezing level and radiation frost occurs on the clear nights due to radiative cooling with the temperature inversion and usually results in the formation of ice crystals 
on cold objects you know that there was a lapse rate and temperature inversion lapse rate means when we go up or up in the height then there is a decrease in temperature and temperature inversion is just opposite to it that with increasing height there is increase in temperature the frost causes a great damage to the plants as well as the grains frost hazard is greatest in north india in the winter months the cold waves move towards southward or eastward from the northwest himalayan ranges these waves move for 3 to 4 days continuously leading to widespread rain cloudiness and low temperature in the region combination of low moisture and clear skies along with calm winds creates ideal condition for the ground temperature to fall sharply overnight increasing chances of ground frost now next thing which is related to the cold waves is the fog fog play a crucial role in intensifying cold waves which was seen in the recent episodes a paper published in the current science journal by imd scientist rajendra janmani in 2007 found that air pollution increases the average fog hours which in turn reduces day temperature the paper analyzed that average maximum temperature over indira gandhi airport New Delhi in January between 1988-90 and 2005, and found that the temperature dipped by three degrees Celsius, while the average four hours a day increased by the six hours. You can see that the frost, fog, and cold waves they can cause harm to the human beings, animal as well as the crops. As we are related to the agriculture, so cold waves can be. harmful for the agriculture but in some temperate areas to some fruits or vegetable it can be useful for some days so this is the cold wave topic and next time and you can see the effect of fog on pl- uh, plants the production of a cloud of fog around the plants boosts the supply of cool air around the plant at night when frost is a threat plants continue giving off heat but a cloud of fog around them holds down the loss protecting the plants even when the temperature outside are below zero these are the some advantages of fog on plants so we have discussed tropical cyclone tsunami heat waves cold waves frost and fog and uh, next time we'll discuss the next weather hazard so for that good luck and you study hard okay